Hello and welcome to a video from shopintegrator.com. In this video I'll give you a quick introduction to our latest WordPress plugin and its new features. This allows you to turn a WordPress site into an online shop in a number of easy steps. You can get the new plugin from the shopintegrator.com website. Just go to the home page and on the right hand side you'll find a WordPress logo which you can click. This will take you to the WordPress plugin information page and on that page you'll find a download link as well as information about the plugin. You can click download and that will download the WordPress plugin zip file. In your WordPress dashboard you can then go to the plugin section and using the add new function you can upload that zip file and it will install it automatically into your site and when installed you'll see the e-commerce connector listed here as a plugin version 1.2.1 and don't forget under settings to set your client code under the shop integrator e-commerce settings page otherwise your plugins won't work so on to the changes um, the main change is under appearance widgets and that is the addition of the currency control sidebar widget which you can pick up and drag onto your sidebar. I've already got one loaded here and there's its settings, fairly simple you just add a title if you want a title at all and another important change is the ability to add a custom CSS style sheet class to that widget and what this means is you can type in a class name and that's up to you what you choose to use and you can then apply style to that widget by using that class name and another important change is this has also been added to the view basket widget as well so you can define your own uh, style class for that widget as well if you want to um, and while we're in the view basket widget this has been modified to allow you to switch easily between a standard text link and a linked button image and you can also choose the terminology between using checkout or cart or basket if you select either of these two options it uses cart or basket based on the settings in your shop integrator admin console or you can use these items here to change the terminology to checkout and you can also determine whether these links here appear above or below the cart details which is the text that is usually displayed in the widget such as the uh, total amount of money in the um, basket or in fact you can turn those details off completely uh, don't forget when you've made any changes here to click the save button so I'm going to click that and that's set uh, I'm going to check that to check out button image and save that. So that's the, the main change to the widget area. Uh, the other important change is best demonstrated on a demo site, which is here. There's the view basket, which has changed to check out because I updated the details a few seconds ago. One of the important changes we've made is the ability to better style these components that you actually add to the different areas of your website and what happens now is these components are wrapped in a particular uh, style sheet class which enables you to better position and style them um, this one here for example I've used um, a bit of custom style sheet to actually float it to the right of this text and this image and similarly for this list of products here I've used the custom style to add a bit more border underneath just to separate it from this WordPress uh, text here. And here's some um, other components here that are just pulling out the title and the weight and the cost of this item. And I haven't done any uh, specific styling with those, so they're just, um, just straight out of the box. Now, the other useful thing you can do is given that these components are now wrapped in styles that give you a bit more control over them inside your WordPress dashboard 
you can go to appearance and go to editor and this will allow you to edit the style sheet for the theme that you've got in use now all of this stuff here is all the styling for the theme and I'm going to ignore that and right at the bottom what I went and did was here is the class I defined for my uh, basket widget in the sidebar and I simply applied a little bit of padding to that to give me the look I was after and similarly that was the class I decided to give to the new currency control that I also had in the sidebar and again you can add some padding and you can obviously add uh, cascading style sheet information in here to further enhance the appearance of those for example you could use this to add a border around those particular items if you wanted to these classes here are the classes that are um, applied to the components that I've got on the page so for example this one here is the interactive add buttons I've got next to each of my cameras and here you'll see the style that's actually floating those to the right of the text and the images and there's the margin that just gives them a bit of white space around the edge and similarly this is the class that enables me to better control the list of products components and here I've just added a 20 pixel board around the edge which just separates it from the other um, items on that page and by picking the correct class you've got a little bit more control over how your components appear within your WordPress site. So to summarise in the new version we've added the new currency control sidebar widget, enhanced the basket widget with a few more options, added the ability to style the sidebar widgets and also added the ability to better style the category list and the interactive add buy components. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out our other tutorials. If you enjoyed this tutorial then please remember to click the like button and if possible share with your friends and family on your favourite social networking sites. Thank you.